Hey guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about my Sephora VIB sale wish list. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get into it. Okay, so the Sephora VIB sale is arguably one of my favorite times of the year, particularly the fall sale. I mean, I love it anytime, but there's something about the fall sale that gets me really excited, and I think it's because there's all kinds of holiday sets, and the fall is also just really busy for makeup releases in general, so there's just a lot of new stuff to buy. I feel like I use the spring sale to kind of stock up on stuff that I need, and then the fall sale is to get all the fun stuff that I want. So this is definitely going to be quite makeup heavy, um, but keep in mind, I am going to pare this list down a little bit. I'm not buying every single thing on this list. It's going to be very hard not to. Um, so the very first thing on this list is the new Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Sculpting Pencil. So I was really carrying on about this one and this week's new makeup releases because I just feel like it's so innovative. So what makes this special is that it's a lip pencil at one end. And on the other end, you have like a brush that you can use to kind of smudge the liner if you would like. And I know he has eyeliners that kind of also have a brush tip at the other end so you can kind of wing, wing out your eyeliner. And I just think it's so innovative and I've been dying to try more products for Mario so I'm really, really excited to add this one to my list. Uh, I'm just very excited about these in general. And in that same vein, I also want to pick up one of his new Ultra Suede lipsticks. And I actually have the color Sam on my list. I should mention for the eyeliner, I have the shade. I have the shade Johnny, which is a muted rose pink. So I'm very excited for that. And for the lipstick, I have the color Sam, which is a midtown nude pink. So I kind of wanted them to sort of match just just because I'm probably going to want to try them on together. Um, but I'm very excited to try out this, and it's been really hard for me to not pick up one of his eyeshadow palettes as well. Uh, he does have the Master Mattes, but I just... I feel like I have those shades in my collection, so that's why I haven't picked it up. But it's getting harder and harder not to as I get more and more excited about his releases, and I can't wait to see what he comes out with next. So for now, it's just going to be the lip liner and lipstick. I also have the new Pat McGrath Divine Blush and Glow Trio. So this was a blush palette that was released with her holiday collection, and I was originally going to get it to review, but I decided to wait for the sale. Um, I absolutely love the Celestial Odyssey palette. I do have one of the blushes that she released back in the spring, but I don't have any of these shades, so I thought this would be a great addition to my collection as well. I also have the new Patrick Ta blush palette. I should really think about that. I probably don't need two blush palettes. Eh, whatever. So we'll, so we'll see. This is an example of me having to knock my list down a little bit. Okay, and next up I have from First Aid Beauty, I have their facial radiance pads. I remember getting a sample of these from Ipsy and I love them so much and I felt like they really kept my skin clear and just very dewy and I loved it. I felt like they just did such nice things for my skin. So I have been missing those and I really do want to get those back into my routine. However, I am thinking I might actually wait until the spring, that way I can work through some of the toners that I have and then pick this up, so that's a good idea. We'll see, but that's what I'm thinking at the moment. Okay, and from NARS, I have the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. So I have heard that this one is so good for spot concealing, so that's what has me curious about this one. I am absolutely obsessed with my one size butter silk concealer. I don't reach for anything else, but I really, really do want to try that NARS concealer for spots. So that is, I don't think that one's going to come off the list at all. Okay, and here's another maybe. Um, this is NARS. This is one of their unwrapped mini eyeshadow palettes, and I picked the Orgasm palette. So this is six very pinky shades. I think it's really, really pretty. 
I have it on here because I think the packaging is beautiful, but I also don't have any experience with NARS eyeshadows and I kind of wanted to change that, but I'm not sure if this is where I should start. So that might come off as well, um, but I'm not sure because I do think it's pretty. And another product from First Aid Beauty is their mini KP bump eraser. So I've also heard really good things about this product and I definitely noticed some bumps kind of popping up on my arms over the last year or so, but it never really bothered me and suddenly it's starting to bother me a little bit. So I do want to try that one out. I just put the mini on my list. That way I can kind of try it out and decide if I like it or not. Okay, and I also have the my usual way leave-in conditioner, detangling and frizz fighting leave-in conditioner. I do love that spray so much, but this might be something I also leave until the spring. I don't know if I'm going to pick this up yet or not. I might wait until the spring just because I'm halfway through my last bottle and I do have another product to try out. Yeah, so I might wait on that one. And from LIS Beauty, I had the Triple Fix Serum Foundation. I've just been really wanting to try this. It, I believe it was released earlier this year and it had some really good reviews. So it's supposed to be like a serum foundation that's also medium coverage, which sounds awesome. And the packaging is stunning and it's actually more affordable than a lot of foundations that are found at Sephora. So I'm very curious about this and I think I re I'm definitely going to pick this one up. I am definitely going to pick this up and I saw that it recently also won an Allure Award. So that that's a good sign. Um, so I will definitely be picking that one up. Okay, do you guys see why I have to <laughs> pair this down? I have so much. Okay. Also, I have one of the Huda Beauty Power Bullet Cream Glow Hydrating Lipsticks on here in the shade Honey Bun. These were also released earlier this year. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to get this. I really like it. They sound really nice, but I don't know if it definitely looks like a shade I would enjoy. I'm just not 100% sure if, if it's going to stick around. I've definitely been curious about this formula. I just, I'm not 100% sure. And especially with that Makeup by Mario lipstick, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to grab this one. So we shall see about that. I also put the new ABH Magic Touch Concealer on here, but I don't think I'm going to get it. So this is supposed to be really good as well. It was released around the same time as my beloved One Size Concealer, and it's gotten pretty good reviews. It's just, in my mind, it's really hard for me to uh, think anything could be better than my One Size. Yeah, I'm going to have to debate on that one. I'm really not sure how I feel. Okay, I also threw on the Fenty Beauty Glossy Posse. This is the Fantasy Foursome four-piece gloss bomb set. So this is her holiday release. Um, these come out every year. There's usually four shades of gloss. But this one also includes a full size of her lip creams that I believe were released this year as well. So this includes... Um, so this set actually includes the Gloss Balm Cream Color Drip Lip Cream and Candy Milk and the Mini Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizers and Fenty Glow Fantasy Hot Chocolate Fantasy and Champ Stamp Fantasy. Okay, um, names. However, this just sounds really nice and Fenty is one of those lip glosses that I actually really, really love and I've also been wanting to try the cream formula so I'm probably going to pick that one up. That one's probably not coming out. Alright, I also added the Makeup by Mario Master Pigment Pro Eyeliner Pencil. So this I mentioned earlier when I was talking about his lip liners. I don't wear a ton of lip liner, but I am curious about this one, especially because it has that little brush at the end. Like, that makes me curious. I want to try it out. I want to see what's up. So I'm definitely going to pick that one up as well. I went really lip heavy <laughs> on uh, my basket this year, it seems. So there's the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lip Liner in Ilona. And again, I have tried a lot from Natasha Denona. I am a big fan of hers. I have never tried her lip liners though. So that has me very, very curious. So I definitely want to pick that one up. And this shade is described as, as a medium neutral pink. So I'm definitely going the pinky route with this one. Okay, and another maybe is the Lawless Conceal the Deal Long Wear Full Coverage Foundation. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to pick this one up. I was trying all year not to buy foundations, and for the most part I did well. But I noticed 
that the foundations I reach for all the time are all drugstore, which is amazing. But I really do want to find some high-end options that I love as well. So I think that's why I was looking into the foundation category so heavily. But this is a long wearing lightweight full coverage foundation that delivers modern full coverage with a self setting natural matte finish. That sounds a lot like my beloved Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation so I really do want to try it out and I've really enjoyed um, the things that I've tried from Lawless so far. I haven't tried a lot to be honest but anything I have tested I really enjoy so I really do kind of want to try that out as well and I think that might be it. That's it. Um, as if that wasn't a ton. So obviously I'm definitely going to be weaning some things out of there depending what releases over the next few weeks. Adding a couple things in but otherwise that is my wish list for now. I know it's absolutely crazy. Again that's why I'm going to have to knock some things off of it. Um, but that is it for me today. What are you guys planning to pick up during the sale? I would be so curious to hear. Let me know down below. And also, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. Um, but that's where we'll leave it for today. Thank you again so very much for watching. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!